Hey y'all, I want to leave a short message here about why I decided to, why I decided to ask my music be pulled off of Spotify. So check this out. I empathize with the people who are leaving for the COVID disinformation reasons, and I think that they should. I also think that Joe Rogan has the right to say what he wants to say. I also think that I have the right to say what I want to say. So as an artist who builds, Spotify is built on the back of the music streaming. So they take this money that's built from streaming and they pay this guy $100 million, but they pay us 0.003% of a penny. Just take me off. I don't want to generate money that pays this. Just take me off. That's where I'm at. And I know that uh, I'm actually, to be honest with you, surprised that my statements were picked up because I thought people weren't really going to listen to me because that's what I'm the kind of that's what I'm used to from the industry. But I'm glad that I am being heard. And for that reason, I want to clarify my statements again. This is why. Watch this. So we know how social media can be. Things can be doctored. People are taken out of context. It's happened to me many times. However, I want to be clear in no uncertain terms where I stand on this is that he shouldn't even be uttering the word. Don't even say it under any context. Don't say it. That's where I stand. It's my right to stand there. I have always stood there. I have other feelings about it, but those are nuances that are not meant for this moment. He shouldn't even be saying it. And so the confluence of energies comes into play here. So now we have this person who is offensive to a lot of people who's paid a hundred million dollars. Spotify, the backbone of Spotify is the music. So you pay the musicians that are the backbone of your business. 0 0.003 to 0.005% of a penny. And you take this money that and you take this money that you generate over here because all the rest of it goes somewhere. The subscription fees go somewhere. So you take this money that's generated over here and you use it to invest in this guy. Do what you want, but take me off. Or pay me too. And I don't just mean me, I mean us. Artists like me, pay us too. Pay podcasters of color too. So Artist Relations from Spotify called me yesterday and they asked me what I want and I've been thinking about this all night. I'm not gonna say it all here, but what I wanna say to you is something that I already knew, but I want you to know that they said it last night. Most of the streams on Spotify are black music, but we know that if, you, if you're paying attention at all, you understand the role of black music in this world. So that's a deeper nuance. There's the musicians, there's the black music that is the backbone of the whole music industry, that's the backbone of Spotify too, who are historically underpaid and mistreated and all this stuff. Just there's a historical context here that makes all this matter. And then there's this guy and you take this money and you pay this guy who says this stuff? No. And so it took Anil Young to open the door for someone like me, but I walked through it because I've been standing at this door for a long time. One of the hashtags I put on my post, the written one was, what if we all leave? And that's what I'm trying to see if we could get to happen. What if we all leave? Then we can start having a conversation. It can go from a conversation to a negotiation. So that's where I'm at, y'all. And I'm going to get into my day. All right, y'all.